Well, I think we do the consistency. They play a lot of snaps at a high level. And, you know, they're not up and down players. Uh, you know, they're two, really, two really physical players play with high effort, high football IQ. Uh, so you know, they, they check a lot of boxes for us. Well, I've been looking at you know, your resume and the tape. We can get a sense of what you want to do. But in your own words, how would you describe the identity and the philosophy of the offense you hope to install here? Well, there's certainly a style of play and intent that we want that fits this team and the history here, the Steelers, the brand of football, and that, that, that shared vision. Uh, but, you know, every team I've been on, you, know, you want to have, have, you want to win the line of scrimmage because also you're going to adapt to the strengths of your team. And, and that's, a lot of times that's coach speak, but I would like to argue that we've done that at every stop I've been to. We've tried to play with the strengths of your team. Certainly want to have want to have a physical team play with an edge. You need those guys up front. Do you think you have that now? You have that type of mentality, that type of uh, player. Certainly, well on the way. Just with the field play, I'm really excited. I'm excited about a lot of the players that were already here on the roster that I've gotten to know the last couple of weeks. I'm just really excited how it plays out in camp, competition, everything. Project a long way down the road, maybe. But is there value in a group of young offensive linemen? Being together, growing up together four, five, six, being together. The Steelers had that about a decade ago. They drafted a bunch of them and they played together for five, six, seven years together. Is there value in that? Yeah, absolutely. I think that chemistry and fit and those guys, some of those guys that grow together, you know, you want to just love everybody to play every snap and to stay healthy, but you want to continue to develop you know, the back end of the, of the roster always. And, uh, the consistency, that, that definitely helps. Arthur, Do you have anything for, about Zach or Troy? Arthur, Zach suffered a pretty serious leg injury in the final game of West Virginia season last year. Is there any lingering concerns with that leg, and what was that medical vetting process like for you guys? Well, it's certainly something I'll you know, defer to Mike and Omar. Uh, obviously, we feel very confident in the player and selecting him here. And, and certainly his resume and his background is that I couldn't be more excited. Did you take anything away from him? Kind of crawling himself off the field after after he did that, that was a pretty tough one. That's who he is. I mean, that's who his resume is. Instead of trying to just do some dramatic shot for the camera, I mean, that's his history and his body of work. Uh, one of the tougher guys I've seen on film. It reminds me a lot of Ben Jones. I mean, it's a real, real toughness to him. Mark, both of these guys have experience playing a second sport. Troy playing volleyball and Zach wrestling. When you see that in an offensive line, does that make you stop and maybe look a little bit more? The same thing about their athleticism or the way they move? I think it's I think it's awesome to see. You know, I think that not to get on soapbox there, but I think a lot of times you see a lot of specialization going on in youth sports. And I think it helps when you have a different diverse background, uh, different skilled player, but it's just you know, a guy like AJ Brown was a phenomenal baseball player, can track the ball as a center fielder. I think it helps. I think it helps to have a well rounded Shocked to see Troy. I didn't know that. I thought they may have a weight limit in volleyball. It's pretty, pretty impressive. <laughs> it certainly helps to see it. Did, did Troy remind you of anybody you had? I would hear the name mentioned Ben Jones or Zach. Well, yeah, yeah, it's more Ben Jones, a solid play. Sometimes I stay away from comps. Uh, I think, again, Zach, you know, he's, he's got some strengths in his own right. Uh, Troy is just unique. You know, his power and his initial flicks off the ball, those are all very. Arthur, you alluded to uh, Zach Frazier being a high achiever. One of the things that's in the classroom is really high GPA. How do you feel like his intelligence will help with some of the responsibilities that come with that center position? Yeah, he's got a lot of experience you know, pulling the ball, making calls. Uh, there's obviously been an adjustment to the National Football League, but that, that, that experience really helps. Uh, you know, I guess when, he, when he Eric Stoney, he's also a, a, uh, does a lot of woodwork and builds things. And, just that resume is impressive. He's a very, very mature person uh, at that age coming in here, and that helps, especially if we want to play center. Well, so he was here to earlier today. He was talking about how he likes to go on YouTube and learn things, how to cut hair, play piano, things like that. Sounds like he's similar to Zach, that they like to have hobbies outside of football. Just what does that add to have a guy that has so many other interests in addition to being a great football player? That's kind of what you want. I think, I think it's good. You always want to be curious. You Constant learning, you're never gonna know it all. I, mean, I try to challenge myself that way. It is funny that's become normalized. You learn on YouTube, I have an 11 year old that learns how to code and video games and his achievements on YouTube. But uh, it just shows their overall makeup. And uh, that's another reason we're excited to have both of them. Arthur, with the guys you had with Troy and 
Zach, I mean, you guys have a lot of guys that are really good pullers. How does that kind of help your run scheme in setting that tone up front? Well, yeah, when those guys are really comfortable playing in space, there's certain things you want to add. I mean, you don't want to get stale. You know, you're not just going to reprint a playbook from the year before or four years ago. Like I said, there's a certain tip you want to play, but you want to evolve too. And play to the strengths, and certainly up front. You know, we're not going to get stale. There's going to be schemes you add every year, wrinkles, and we're going to have a you know, core philosophy have to stay at the top of that. The game changes and put in personnel. So that you're excited about that versatility for sure. As excited as you are, I'm sure you get Troy in the first round of your first round tackle. Was it tough to leave those centers, including Zach, the good ones on the board, where you're kind of sweating out in the second round, like seeing picks go by and hoping that he was still going to be there at 51? I, uh, over the last couple of years, I mean, there's things that are in control and out of control. You're just excited when it breaks your way. You know, like I said, there's a lot of great players in the draft. And obviously, you know, Mike and Omar and Sherwood are the ones that make those decisions. And, and I think I have a little more appreciation now that we've been in that role before. Uh, just I feel fortunate, like I said, selfishly, as, as the OC, that we were able to get both Troy and Zach. Right, two as more. Looked, as you looked at the tape, what jumped out on each one of those two players? Was the consistency and you know the intent that they play with. They both play with an edge. I think they're very smart players, uh, but that consistency, you don't see a lot of walls in their game. That's a credit to both of them, the way they work with it and train it. But they both have 30, 30 plus, 40 plus college starts, especially that an offensive line. Is that value? Is that something that is, is over your years know that they can, players like that, can call experienced players and step in a little easier? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I'm really impressed with their body of work. You know, just adage and just looking at the whole body of work, if you look at it, just the SAT test, you know, that sometimes you get caught you know, in the recency of the guys running the, the 40s at the shuttle, but go back to the tape with all those guys, it's impressive, their body of work. All right.